Welcome to the word for today. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. God is not a god of the dead but living. Jesus is arguing with Sadducees. He started his interest in temple debates when he was at 12. This debate is on a topic of Torah. Sadducees are challenged on what they deny. the anti resurrectionists and this puts them outside of the family of israel of course the sadducees were jewish but some pharisees did not think so and all because of the importance of resurrection the sadducees worked only with the pentateuch the torah while the pharisees and others read also the prophets and the psalms as scripture and it was in those extra books that pharisees found justification for trusting in the resurrection of the dead they were less numerous than their rivals the pharisees sadducees were very influential on account of the many noble and wealthy persons who belonged to their ranks we read in the book of acts that they were extremely annoyed at the apostles teaching the people the doctrine of the resurrection from the dead they arrested peter and john and put them in jail to stop the spreading of the message of resurrection they released them and cautioned them never to speak in the name of the risen jesus acts 41517 another important point of contention was the matter of the ultimate justice of the world the sadducees understood this world to be the only world in which god would act as a keeper of the covenantal promises pharisees understood that god would keep promises and enact justice even beyond the boundaries of this world luke is telling the story of jesus who was killed by the romans rome's crushing of the first jewish revolt 66 70 ad and rome's destruction of jerusalem and the temple some ancient sources said the jewish death toll in the defeat at around 1 million that is surely too high but the defeat was devastating we can understand why luke would insist that it would take a general resurrection of the dead for restitution of justice jesus brushes saduchis of with a theological shrug that simply rejects their case and they vanish in the next scene some scribes appear and warmly approve of jesus argumentative skill and with that all questioning ends jesus has won the approval of those jews who expect the most from god jesus has been handed a case involving the complexities of liberate marriage it is a patriarchal institution that protected women by passing them from brother to brother jesus says that in the kingdom of god the whole institution of marriage will be unnecessary and thus women will not be passed along as property women possesses the strength an intellect to stand up for herself in this world to come justice will not be a crude compromise or a commodity to be bought by those with expensive lawyers a world in which life will rise out of the ashes of crushed hopes and dreams the resurrection of christ is the greatest of all Christ's miracles and the proof of his divine mission. 
for although he worked many other wonders yet without his resurrection as paul states in 1 corinthians 15:17 our faith would be in vain and we would still be in our sins the reason for this is that the resurrection from the dead was a sign we have inherited a spirituality of the resurrection we are the resurrection people let us preach the gospel of universal brotherhood freedom of speech and worship in our own churches and live the message of joy and hope hope expressed in ceaseless fight for justice and peace for all